Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Risk of Rain 2 Survivors of the Void. We are going to be jumping in again and this time we are going to be of course playing as the Void Fiend. In the last episode I was this close, this close to unlocking the Void Fiend. But I went, uh, I've been playing a lot off camera so I ended up unlocking him. And yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try him out. He's a very interesting character, and I will also say I'm actually running with quite a lot of mods now. Uh, mods have sort of been re-added to the game, and I think the modded experience in Risk Rain 2 is really good. Some of the main ones I'll go over that are kind of going to interact with what we're doing today. The bazaar has an expansion, basically some extra stuff in the bazaar. Um, there's a better UI, which is going to give us basically some more details about the items we're picking up, sort of in terms of how much they buff certain stats. No void allies, which is essentially going to make it so that we don't get killed by our own allies that get infested. If you remember in the last episode, uh, oh sorry, the first episode, I got killed by my own squid turret. That's not going to happen anymore. Another one called Zet's Tweaks here. This one is essentially just a big list of different minor tweaks that make the game better. One of the ones that's sort of the main one for me is you always start each of the first five stages with enough gold to actually just straight up buy a chest, which is really nice. We've got uh, eggs, utilities, and skills, which isn't really going to affect this character, uh, but other characters have new skills. Quality of life chests, which is going to mean that chests disappear when we uh, purchase from them. Uh, some tweaks to the Void Fiend character himself, just to make him a little more playable. There's a few small issues that the character had, so it kind of fixes up some of those. And then the main ones, we've got Tinker Satchel and Mystic items, as well as the Ancient Whisper boss. So a bunch of new items and one new boss. It's going to be pretty interesting. Um, I'm pretty excited to be jumping in with these. But yeah, we're going to go. I'm going to be playing on Monsoon. I've been playing on Monsoon a lot more recently. I just find the experience a little more enjoyable and items to be a little more important. Of course, we're going with his standard loadout. If you're wondering, by the way, how I've unlocked the things. I just got myself a 100% save file for this DLC because I wanted to show everything off. Uh, but I did end up unlocking the Void Fiend um, normally and then doing that afterwards. Either way, we're going to jump straight in. Uh, we're going we're gonna to keep it no artifacts for now. There is actually some new artifacts as well, as you can see here. But we're going to keep it no artifacts for now. Just go in on the Monsoon difficulty and try out a regular old run and see what we can get done. So, I'm actually pretty new to this character. I Ooh, that's an interesting drop pod. I haven't actually played him yet. Um... The only thing I know is he has two sort of core forms, and you can see those signified by the bar that's currently raising here. So he has his skills here, he has this, he has like a, a thrown ball here. Um, he has, ooh, a kind of sort of upwards movement skill. And then on R he has a set, is that, I don't know what that does. Is that a heal? It was green, so I'm going to assume it's a heal. Now, one of the big changes in the uh, Void Fiend tweaks that I got, and this was kind of recommended to me by a few people, is the Void Fiend has this, um, by default, has this sort of tactic. Okay, here we go. We're transforming. So now we get a big movement speed boost. Whoa, look at that. We get like a huge big blast. This one's going to do that. What does this do? Okay, this is a dash forward, and R's going to... I'm not quite sure what that one does. The R ability, I'm not sure on yet. I'm sure we'll figure that out. But yeah, I was told that apparently the Void Fiend loses his corruption meter whenever he heals, which essentially means in the late game, you enter a position where you can no longer get into the corrupted mode because you heal so much, because the game has just a lot of healing in it. So one of the tweaks is basically tweaking that to make it not quite so um, difficult to stay in corrupted mode late, later into the game. So hopefully that should make a big impact. I have to say, this this main attack here, this primary... Oh my god. You, you actually enter Corrupted Mode fairly often here. It's so strong. I love this. Oh my god, that's awesome. Apparently, Criticals help you stay in Corrupted Mode longer as well, so I'm looking forward to that. We should try and go and open up some chests here. I'll try and let you guys know when an item is um, vanilla but new to Survivors of the Void or modded. Um, there is, I think, about 50 new modded items over the course of the, the two mods that I've downloaded that add them. We'll take a healing item first. So, so stuff like this, normally if we're healing outside of danger, our corruption meter would be going down and it'd be a lot harder to get into the corrupted mode. It kind of just tweaks that a little bit to make it a little more fair and a little more plausible. We also get the rusted key here, which is insanely powerful because at the minute it's broken. Uh, I don't know why it's broken, but it always contains a, um, a legendary item at the minute. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Oh my God, that's a lot of enemies. Okay, luckily we managed to get a good amount of use out of the Corrupted form there. We can also take a Void item here too. 
take care of that. Oh, he managed to grab onto this dude. Got him. Okay, and this is going to be... We actually don't want that. So that is the one that removes your ability to get crit with Lensmaker's glasses, but gives you a chance to insta-kill. But if you remember, we actually want to be getting crit because it allows us to stay in the corrupted form for longer. So we really don't want that. We'll take some fire rate right here. A bit more healing. This has pretty good range on it. The damage on it is insane, too. Okay, so... I'm not sure if this does any damage when I hit enemies with it. He seems he seems a little weak off the bat, um, just because of his slow fire rate, but that attack speed bonus is certainly helping. But yeah, sometimes we're going to get void items we don't want. So they, they do have uh, downsides to them, of course, corrupting all of a base item, so you want to be careful with that. Grab both of these. I'm liking the range. This is one of the modded items here. Scratch Ticket. This is another modded item here as well. Um, Scratch Ticket is going to give us um, basically more chances for our on-hit effects to trigger. And then uh, the cutest bow is going to give us reduced damage against 100 enemies. I don't know if it means for the next 100 kills or for the next 100 enemies that hit us. Um, and then we've got War Banner, Goat Hoof, and another modded item here, the Donut. I'm going to take Goat Hoof. I think movement speed is super important here. Okay, so the R ability is, is definitely a heal. I, I shot right through that guy's legs there. That's great. All right, let's, let's just focus on buying stuff at the minute. We've got more than enough money right now. A teddy bear is so good. Okay, I need to focus on not accidentally using that heal. I'm using it a lot by accident. It seems to not have a cooldown, though, which is intriguing. Ah, using it, as you can see, using it pretty heavily reduces our corruption meter. Okay, okay. We've got to be careful about that. It does mean that if we would prefer to stay in this form for any reason, then we can. Obviously, at the minute, I don't really prefer to. Any more chests around here? Spawn in the wrong neighborhood, kid. I just like the movement speed. The movement speed is so nice. This area is always a little difficult to find the teleporter in my experience. It's just a very, very big open area. It's similarly... Okay, the, the teleporter's there. It's similarly quite difficult to find um, chests as well. Having a little bit of a little bit of trouble finding any more chests here, but we'll see. I, th I think there was some chance shrines over this way. We'll go and take a look at those real quick, and then uh, I guess after that we can head back. I need to get used to this this whole drag you into the air ability. It's a little strange, a little hard to get used to. Ooh, that okay. So that right, I didn't realize initially. But that's got gravity associated with it, so we need to be careful when we fire the uh, the mouse to this because it, it's got a bit of an arch, a bit of a dip to it, which the other one definitely doesn't. If we take a look here, that's straight firing. So I'm guessing that's just because it does more damage and it's kind of a, a heavier mass. But we do have to be careful of that. Seems that we get a bit of slow on hit as well here. Well, that guy fire. Right, let's play these a little bit. We've got plenty of money right now, so hopefully we don't get shafted too hard. So far, we're getting shafted pretty hard. More attack speed and more healing. And now we can go in with this. I love that ball attack. That's so strong. God damn, if we can build up some crit and stay in corrupted form for longer, this is going to be so fun. This, uh, <laughs> this form is incredible. Right. Go for you. This thing has incredible range as well. Wow, I don't think it has any drop-off either. Okay, come on, don't screw us, don't screw us. Oh, you... Okay, there's one. Gasoline's decent here. Okay, we need a little bit more money to play it again. A lot of enemies coming this way. Okay, we'll leave it there. I'm not going to bother playing that more. We want to be getting out of here anyways. Oh, there's another chest here. Okay, we'll try... We'll stick around for this at least. Oh, that was way too far. Oh, the damage this thing puts out. It's incredible. I'm I'm in love with that attack. Oh, there's a 3D printer there for the donut as well. 
And then here we'll get ourselves, yes, okay. Attack speed is something we really want because this guy's got a very slow base attack speed um, on this on this uh, form at least. So I'm really glad that we've got three soldier syringes already. That's a huge boost, huge, huge boost. All right, let's go take on the boss. I haven't really been using the, um, the R ability in my corrupted form. I imagine, actually, I don't know. Let, let, let's try it out. Does it extend our amount of corruption here? It does. It take. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, okay. So we can take away some of our own health to extend our corruption. Oh, we only get a limited number of charges though. There's the caveat. Well, well this is a bit crazy. I don't know if doing damage increases our corruption rate at all. This is a lot of enemies here. Wow. I'm trying to kill the boss first just to get the item. Despite the boss not really being that big of a deal, I'll be honest. Okay, so now they're at about 70% corruption. Let's make our way into close range. And there you go. And we can do a bit of that. Pop one of those. Wow, there's a lot of these dudes about. Luckily, we've got very good AoE. And we get a seemingly pretty good item here. Uh, the ignition tank, which is going to make our um, gasoline effects even more effective. The burn damage is longer and deals more damage. It's a very, very good package deal. If you can get uh, gasoline with that, it's, it's really, really nice. Okay, so it seems that we're not going to end up spending too long in our corruption mode, at least until we get some more crit. But for now, I actually quite like this character. I was told he was a bit underwhelming, but I think he's pretty good so far. Might as well buy this turret here. Oh, another tweak as well is we can buy stuff that's outside of the teleporter event, which you normally can't do. Good. I like that a lot. I wonder if we can boost the amount of corruption that gives to us. I'm unsure. So far, I think we cleared out the stage pretty damn well. By the way, this is one of the new stages, new the new fair stages. And this is another new stage as well. Um, a pretty difficult one, though. So here we are. Ooh. So this leeching seed is one of the big reasons why I got that mod that uh, affects the way that healing works on his corruption. Because before, if you got a leeching seed, essentially you couldn't get in into corruption mode. Yeah, or at least it was significantly, significantly harder. Um, so it's nice to not have to deal with that as much now. Because, ooh, this is a modded item here. Your, you and your drones emit sparks in combat. Ooh. Let's get ourselves some uh, drones then. Is that going to be hit? Oh, 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 oh. Obviously I can't quite hit that guy, but I'll... Do you know what? I'll race forward and get him. He's a big dude. He can handle it. You'll also be able to notice as well that our chests have outlines. For one, we have an invisible chest here, which I always forget exists. Shield generators, whatever. Uh, Will of the Whisk could be interesting. We'll pop another one of these and see what we get. We want to be killing these as quickly as possible, though. Oh, we got a poly loot. Okay, poly loot is essentially like reverse ukulele. Instead of area damage, it's going to do single target damage. It's very good. Where did that guy go? Oh, he jumped off the map. Fair enough. You do you, I guess. I need to be using his movement skills while I'm in this mode to get around. Okay, let's try and head back up to where we just were, because there was a few chests up there. Ah, we can use that for upwards momentum. I keep forgetting about that. The upwards momentum is really nice, actually. It is a bit jarring to have two very different styles of movement skills uh, on each form. But at the same time, I suppose it makes sense. Is that... Oh, it's our gunner turret. I was like, what the hell's stuck up there? And then we get ourselves a donut. Unfortunately, donuts is probably one of the weaker items from modded. But it is, it is good that uh, um, mods do have some weaker items. I think that's one um, one pitfall that a lot of mods tend to, uh, tend to end up falling into is... Trying to make every modded item interesting and therefore making everything too strong. Uh, having actual weak modded items isn't a bad thing. And that one there is just going to mean whenever we open up a container, we get a healing orb. Such as you would from the monster's necklace, monster tooth necklace. Um, so it's, it's just going to be a small heal. Obviously, we won't be opening too many containers outside of combat. So it doesn't particularly matter. Right, anything up here for us to buy? It's always a little annoying when you head your way all the way up here and there's nothing to get... Sadly, that is the case as well. 
So I'm thinking we can maybe like do this. Yes. Save ourselves. Oh. <laughs> That was perfect. I was like, ooh, to save ourselves some fall damage. And it actually, in turn, ended up making me fall off the stage. Great. Right, let's wait until we're out of corruption just to jump this gap. Yes, I like that. Okay, so we've got some chests over there. You'll notice as well with the quality of life chest mods, all the chests are actually, like, outlined and highlighted. So they're much easier to see. It's a change that, while it doesn't look great, like, the, the outlines look a bit janky. It's very much appreciated, because it is really, really difficult to find uh, chests in some stages. Okay, I don't know if we should be getting so close up and personal with this guy, but we'll, we're about to enter corruption mode, so I don't mind. Oh, no, he's going to die before we enter it anyways. Or just about. It's a little bit, in, in, like, inconvenient that you can um, choose when you enter corrupted form, but at the same at the same time, that feels like it's very much the point of the character. You're kind of, you're cursed with the burden of having to, uh, of having to manage each form, and sometimes it may not fit what you're currently trying to do. Okay, so here's where the teleporter event is. Good. Get these vermin out of here. And there's gasoline popping off. Right, we have plenty of money at this point. We also get de death markers, unfortunately, not very good for us. We do have two status effects available to us, both burning and slow. Um, we might want to try and get like a Corona bubble. Or that's just, I suppose, we have slow. Um, we might want to get some other um, status effects to try and make death mark work, but it's unlikely we'll manage to get death mark working anytime soon. Right, so just from here, I can see there's one chest over here. Ah, there's, there you go. There's two. Look, and then we've got a. Uh, a shop over there as well. This gasoline tactic is really helping us out a lot right now. That's really good. That's going to save us from one big hit of damage. Uh, again, another cautious slug. That's also really good. Okay. We're about to change here, and this is probably perfect timing. Ooh, okay. I don't know if that's a change from the mod, or if that's just how the character behaves. But it seems there's some AoE on the transformation effect. Here's our legendary. Guaranteed legendaries in these lockboxes at the minute until it gets patched. So, I'm very happy about that. We get ourselves... Ooh, a new one. Trigger all on-hit effects every 10 seconds. That's intriguing. That is a modded one. That is a modded one. I don't know exactly how that'll work. In terms of, like, sticky bombs. But I like the idea. Oh, wait, no, I'm guessing it means on hit for me. Which, to be fair, that works, because we've got some interesting um, items that we could end up using out of those. Not right now, but in the game in general. Right, it looks like we've pretty much tapped this area for resources, so let's uh, let's get going. But that, that could be a very, very good legendary if we play our cards right. Each additional, each, each additional stack triggers these effects again. Oh, okay. Okay. Interesting to see a, a modded one that's quite unique. We want to be trying to stack on hit effects now. Oh, we got another chest here as well. And we got a chance shrine too. Good. Good. This is a this is an item that using a non-primary skill every 30 seconds racks up critical strike chance. Missing a beat resets it. I don't know how to use this effectively. Okay, while well, we've got corruption mode. You'll see there's like a little beat meter there. But I'm really bad at getting it, like, on the mark. Yeah. Let's be careful here. Ooh, I did not see you guys over here. This is quite a difficult boss fight here. Remember on Monsoon difficulty as well, so it's not all peachy right now. These guys are going to slow us down pretty heavily. We just want to stay out the way of the uh, the balls that this boss throws. They're pretty tricky. I'm trying to use gasoline as effectively as I can. It's a little difficult. We're about to into corruption mode, so let's get ready. This guy's going to end up sucking us in any time now, though. So we've got to be careful of that. There you go. We can we can power through it actually. I didn't think we'd be able to, but we were, we're out damaging it. There you go. Before that healing guy got near. And we get ourselves the boss item. Apparently, this is another item 
where the default form, the vanilla form of this character, it keeps him out of corruption form, because basically when you're near an enemy, it sucks life force and heals you for a, a pretty high amount. Um, and this is another one that kind of really doesn't play well with his whole healing mechanic. So while some of you might be a bit disappointed that I'm not playing in vanilla, I think this is the preferred way to play him. And I'm hoping that the developers see this and, and change him accordingly at some point. Right, anyways, let's go through. It's pretty good for items in this stage. We've got some good stuff going on. I'm looking um, to see what on-hit effects we have. At the minute, we have first aid, tougher times... Um, and I don't know what else we have. Okay, we've got a chest right off the bat. And like I said, we start the stage with enough money to open a chest. We get ourselves this game. Expresso boost. Express boost, sorry, until the next stage. On item pickup, stacks three times. Nice. That's another modded one, that. Sticky bombs are doing well for us. Remember when sticky bombs used to be, like, super broken? And you stacked, like, ten of them and it just insta-kill literally anything. Good times. I see you back there. Another chest here. A lot of green items. Guillotine's a great one to get as well. Guillotine is going to mean that we uh, kill elites once they get down to 15% health and just instantly die, which is real nice. I really like his movement skill. Very good. It's very unique. We've got ourselves an active item here. Check out that in a sec. War banner's good. Uh, what we got here? What is this? Get two copies. I didn't see what that was then. Get two copies of a 3D printer item for free, then destroy the printer. I'm wondering if this is single use. That sounds single use to me. If it's not, it's very good. It might be once per stage, though. I don't know. The radius on that thing is pretty crazy as well. Nice. Yeah, we have a lot of AoE damage now, which I feel is something that this character kind of needs. In his uh, base form. In the corrupted form, you're pretty much fine, but otherwise, a little tough. Another cautious slug. A lot of healing out of combat, which works for me. Crowbar. Ooh, crowbar's a really good one for this character. 75% damage on targets above 90% HP. Means our first hit is going to be very important. I see you over there. I keep missing with that ball. Ball's kind of hard to hit. That was a good hit. Okay, we've got Scrapper down there. I don't really use Scrappers all that often. It's good to know that they're there. Ooh, okay, this is another modded item here. This is um, the Mostly Tame Mimic. Mimics other items that you have at random, which I think is very intriguing. Uh, I'm going to go for this. Yes, it took an item that's worthless. Mainly because this is going to give us some base crit chance at now 7%. Also, healing on crit is just a nice thing to have. Another chest here. More attack speed. That's really good. Let's not worry about getting the most out of our corrupted form at the minute. We're simply looking for chests right now. We don't need to worry about that all too much. Okay, there's some chests over there as well. Oh, okay, so if I, if I do this... It's on a recharge, and now we've got three of those. Oh... That's rather intriguing. That's a very powerful item. Especially when it's on a, such a low cooldown. So essentially, you can get two free items from every printer. That's really cool. It does bust the printer, but you can use it prior to busting it, so... It seems a bit overpowered, really. It is a modded one, so that is going to happen from time to time. But Ooh, there you go. Chrono Bobble. We're kind of asking for that. Look at the damage we're outputting right now. It's crazy. Alright, so I'm not seeing any chests right off the bat here. We do have a Lunar Pod, which unfortunately is not something that I want right now. There's another chest here. And we got our uh, teleporter event right here too. Squid Polyp isn't terrible. We'll take another Rusted Key as well for another guaranteed Legendary on the next stage. 
and I think we're pretty much good to go here. Let's uh, let's just do some housekeeping really quick and take out some of these more annoying enemies before we start. Our fire rate has gotten to a very good point now. I think our fire rate plus the crowbar that we've got. Okay, now we, we pop this. We're getting very, very good um, healing here. Oh god, oh god, oh god. That was a bit that was a bit spicy. Remember we are a monsoon here, so our healing is compromised. But you'll see whenever we score a crit, our corruption meter goes up a little bit. And when we're in corrupted mode and get crits, we stay in corrupted mode for a bit longer. Unfortunately we haven't found any lens makers yet. That would really be a huge boon to our success. An ability to stay in the corrupted form. There we go. And we get ourselves infusion. Infusion's super useful. Uh, we get ourselves 100 extra HP over the course of um, 100 kills. We need to remember, like, entering our corrupted form is going to give us, a, like, a big damage burst. Bye. Oh, wait. There's, there's some more stuff down here that I didn't see. Um... How far are we on the teleport? Okay, we're almost finished on the teleport. Let's finish that out first. Okay. There you go. There's the blast. I want to try and, like, snipe something out of the sky. I can hear something stomping about. I want to snipe something out of the sky with that attack. It's so satisfying. Okay, we're about 99%. Okay, we're finished on that. So let's just quickly go and uh, play these shrines over here. Healing and armor. Got ourselves extra boss damage. Awesome. And roller pennies. Roller pennies is a really good on hit effect. It's going to be giving us gold every 10 seconds now. And away we go. Okay, more roller pennies would be really good because that's a, a like a very good on hit effect for us. We're entered this stage. Okay, so we need to find our lockbox. We also need to save up enough money to buy the legendary that's on the stage, anyways. We do unfortunately have a void seed. Uh, void seeds. I think we've seen them before. Essentially, it's just a bunch of voided enemies. That's going to be rather difficult for us to deal with. I have to admit. Crack open this bad boy and see what we get. Unfortunately, nothing great. Ooh, okay, we got this dude. Luckily, the damage we're dealing is, is pretty amazing. I'm here, little void seed boy. Got him. Okay, at the minute, I am just scouring, scouring the land for our rusted lockbox. Lock that's kind of the most important thing, because I feel like, for one, the earlier you get it, the better, because legendaries are always going to help you clear the stage. But also, it's super easy to kind of, like, forget about it and overlook it. That's not it. Obviously, it's a little easier for us to find with the, uh, the quality of life chests mod thing. Uh, but that still doesn't mean by any means that it's easy to find. Oh, there it is, there it is. I just, I just, I've seen it, I've seen it. So this time we're getting Resonance Disc. Resonance Disc is pretty good. we we'll be able to put out some more damage. And then we should also quickly go and check how much we're going to be paying. Okay, well, here's, here's some of our uh, friends here. Whoa! They died fast. Uh, our legendary chest is always under here. It's 4,000. We're actually not that far off of being able to buy that right now. It's not a terribly high cost. Especially once we beat this boss over here. I don't know what that was then, but there was a bunch of stuff that came down on me. Oh, it's this dude. Be careful when he dies. He's got an on-death effect that's pretty scary. Okay, so we've got enough money now. Let's head over there. 
we still got to clear the Void Seed. There's uh, still four monsters remaining, as you can see, at the, over at the right there. We can deal with that once we've got our Legendary, though. And we are going to get a spare drone pass, which not only gives us a drone that boosts drone effect, but we've got it with the, the wiring that we had uh, that's going to give us, like, electrifying drone effects. But things, things are going reasonably well so far. I think we're managing our corrupted forms decently. We've got enough healing to keep us going. Got enough money to buy pretty much everything on the stage. Extra item effects, nice. I haven't seen a 3D printer yet. I'm kind of looking out for that. Another crowbar, hell yes. Got a pretty good build going. But yeah, I'm kind of looking out for more drones now, knowing that we've got this uh, Colonel Droneman going on. I think the Colonel Droneman build is kind of interesting. Is it a little difficult to sustain? Ooh. Killing, enemies, uh, killing strong enemies permanently increases damage. Wow, that sounds really good. Spine implant, less damage from the back. That's also pretty good. I don't know if it affects turrets or just drones. Another cautious slug. We have a lot of those. We've got five already. Ooh, all shrines can be used more um one more time. Oh, that's pretty cool. I imagine that's gonna make chance shrines relatively expensive though. Okay. Another chest here. Trying to suss out where we got some more chests right now. Another one over there. One over here. Grab that one first and we'll go back to the other one. I love his dash attack. More damage to bosses. Look at that. Oh, the boost. We need some movement speed, really. That's another thing that I'm kind of seeing that we need. And that's a 3D printer just up there, isn't it? Don't quite know what item it's for, but we'll take a little look. Stun bomb, so we can now use that there, and it just gives us two of those. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Very valuable. And we had another chest over here somewhere, didn't we? Where I saw one over here somewhere. Oh, was that it there? I think that was it there. Right, let's take out this guy. Oh, beautiful. And the focus crystal is actually super good for our alt form. There it was. Yeah, when we're in our alt form, having focus crystal being up close and personal and getting that 20% for every crystal we have. And I think we have three, don't we? Or do we have two? No, we have two. Still, that's 40% additional damage. Another 3D printer here. That's so strong. For Monsoon, we're doing pretty well. We got healing going decently well. Extra sprint speed, that's kind of what we're talking about. We've got this area back here. I always forget this area exists. Is there anything of note down here? Looks like we're pretty much out of luck with chests now, so... Ooh, oopsie. <laughs> Didn't mean to get up there. Uh, I'm going to say, we're pretty much out of luck with chests now, I think. So let's... Uh... Go and clear the Void Seed. Oh, no, there you go. We've got one more. Um, I don't know what this new one is, so I'm going to try it out. This is a modded one. Critical Strikes mark enemies. Mark the enemies share damage. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, my God. So, will I be able to get three items from this now? So, that's one. That's two, and it's a legendary. What the hell's that? Reflect taking damage from nearby enemies while the shield is activated. And that is three. Yeah, you can get three items from them now. That's really cool. And yeah, that's another legendary modded item we got there. Ooh, and another modded item here. We're getting a lot of modded items. Like I said, there's quite a lot that I added. But they're all very, very vanilla-esque. Increase a random stat by 10%. Don't mind if I do. Okay, so there's our teleporter event. Here's our void seed. So when you're in the void area... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. a very difficult enemy here, so let's be careful. Do you know why I need to get out of here? That was close. Oh, 
Okay. That was a little tricky. But that guy's gone now. Another void enemy there. There's one more void enemy remaining. There it is. Okay, this void seed is cleared. A little bit tricky there, but we did it. Um, I kind of want to go for the monolith again rather than leech and seed. The monolith's cool. And here we get uh, tougher times. Essentially, instead of a uh, chance to block damage, we have a guarantee to block damage, but on a timed cooldown. Personally, I think it's way, way better. I think we're going to go for another guillotine here. I'm going to wait for this to recharge five seconds, then we can pop proc this for no cost. There we go. Ooh, this is too strong. We, we have reached critical mass now. We have some really strong items going on. Right, remember where the teleporter is, right? Over this way. Oh, movement speed on that is insane. We can even block damage on that attack. That's really cool. Let's go and Titans here. One of them's pretty much insta dead. In fact, wow. They're all insta dead. As I said, we've reached critical mass. Another modded item here. Faster you move, the more damage you deal. Ooh, that's very good for us. Killing bosses pretty easily there. I don't see there's anything over here. It doesn't look like it, though. So, essentially, when we hit an enemy over 90% HP, we do, like, 140% more damage and explode them for a huge amount of damage as well. Yeah, we're going to be dealing some crazy damage. That's what the Void Fiend's all about, though. It's taking advantage. So far, I'm very much in love with this character. <laughs> very cool. I just like having the ability to like use two different sets of skills that are quite diametrically opposed in how they play. you got to kind of make a build that works for both playstyles. Close range and distant. Okay, this is nearly done, so I'm just going to pop down here. And play this. Get ourself Mr. Goobo Jr., which is really good, but unfortunately I do not want. Another active. Is that another Mr. Goobo Jr.? You little troll. We get one more tougher times, though. That's good. Kind of funny. Right, let's go finish this out. We're at 98. There you go. It's done. Head to the next area. I'm going to decide what we want to do in the next area. I think I think we're at the, at the point now we're probably going to be okay for the next uh, for this area. Whoa! That guy jumped really high then. Okay. I'm going to take the movement speed after kill. I think that's really important. I really like it. Just being able to zoom around at the speed of sound. And also, remember, we're going to be gaining bonus damage if we have high movement speed. Where did you come from, sir? You. And you. I love them little, uh, those little pyramid dudes. Over here. Dude. I love that jump. So good. Obviously, the fall damage is a little annoying. I don't know what this is. Let's give it a go. Um, killing an elite spreads its elemental effects to nearby enemies. That's really good. And then here we can grab two of these. Awesome. And then here we got... I guess we take a fuel cell just in case. Oh, we can't actually afford it yet. No, over here.
There you go. I'm guessing she... Oh, I'm stupid. I meant to buy the fuel cell. It's fine. We got this. We got this. Oh, we got a grandparent over there. Oh my god, you see how much damage I just did to him. Holy hell. That's insane. I can kind of take him on from here. Unless I switch. Once I switch, I can. The dream is dead once I switch. I'm still gonna stay over here though, because those grandparents are mean. Got some nasty pasties. It seems like I can do a fine job from over here. There you go, he's dead. I love the range on this dude. Right. Try and find some chests around this area then, shall we? Haven't really looked down here yet. It's always weird when you start from up top and you don't really get a, a view from below. We seem to have gotten to the point now where our movement speed is really, really nice. One moment. Okay, there might be a few back and forth pauses here. I do apologize, but I'll, I'll continue. I'm just messaging someone. Right, uh, ooh, chest. I see you. Don't you dare hide from me. Seems like that grandparent gave us a ton of money. We could maybe do with a little bit extra fire right now. Our fire is good, but more is always better. More is always better. Another squid polyps. Another 10% bo bonus to a random stat. Two more of the cautious slugs. We keep getting tons of those. This sword again? Is this the one that increases our damage permanently? For if we kill strong enemies. Because I like the idea behind that. Yeah, that is. Oh my god, I keep forgetting how much that launches you. Fortunately, they're active. Another monolith that's while getting while playing this is kind of funny. Now we can use these like five times. Okay, we're all out of money though. Alright, let's check what else we got going on around here. Ah, I was like, where the hell's this noise coming from? Right. And then dash. Oh, shit. I pressed the wrong button to dash. Oh, no, it's okay. I ended up up here anyways. It's really our, like, initial damage burst that's carrying us right now. The damage we do straight off the bat is so good. Okay, let's pop forward. Oh my god. Fire boys. Oh, the damage. The damage. Me two of them. Okay. I think we're about ready to bail. Another manuscript. Awesome. I think the manuscript's a really good idea for an item. We got this over here. I don't know where our teleporter is right now. the chest. It could be below, although it rarely is. I guess I'll check. No, it doesn't seem to be down here. The band, nice. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything down here. Where the hell is it? This is another stage where it's always really hard really, really hard to find the teleporter event. I might have already seen it. Oh, the chest over there. One moment. Okay, let's keep this trainer going. I don't know where the event is. Normally, you can see like little particle effects from a distance. Oh, wait. I think I see him. I think I see him. Okay, perfect timing. Oh, I'm like a rocket. There it is. Look, you can see the particles there. Look. Right. Let's pop this. We're going to go for the boss. 
I need to try and fight the uh, the new boss at some point as well. I haven't done that yet. Okay, so these guys aren't too hard right now. Get us off an item. What do we get? Ooh, contraband gunpowder. I think this is one where they drop like a little explosive pouch when they die sometimes. We'll see if we can see it happen. There it is, look. Boom. You walk into it and it explodes. Oh my god, the amount of height I'm getting right now is crazy. Might as well try and play this one last time. And we did indeed. Good, good. I don't think we have many other items we can find here, but we can at least run around. Boom, boom. They're really cool then. And we got this. Okay, I don't know how the boss is going to end up going, I'll be honest. For one, I haven't fought that boss in a really long time. And two, I don't think I've ever fought the boss Mithrix I'm thinking of, by the way. I don't think I've ever fought that boss on Monsoon either, so we'll have to see. Because I think once he takes my items away, I'm going to be in a pretty rough spot. I never really know, like, what items you should and shouldn't take to Mithrix. Because I know there's some where he can just kind of insta-kill you. So you got to be careful. Okay, nice one. We're good to go. Woo! Look at the height that you get. It's insane. I think movement speed increases the height that you get on it. Seems like, at least. Seems like you get a bit more upwards momentum. Okay, here we are. So we're not gaining any corruption. Okay, now we are. I thought we just weren't gaining any while we were here. We got a lot of items. I think we should be in a reasonably good spot here. Just gotta play it right. I think our teddy bear should help us a bit as well. The um the, the corrupted tougher times. But yeah, I haven't been to this area in quite some time, so forgive me if I don't remember where I'm going or what I'm doing. In fact, this area seems to have changed since I was last here. This is quite different. I haven't played in some time, so that makes sense. Oh, there's like a bubble around it, I see. Okay, so we've got some enemies coming up along here, if I remember correctly. Some of them spawn in as you, as you progress. Pretty sure that's what I'm hearing right now. There you go. Fire dude's got some of these guys. Okay, luckily we're taking these guys out reasonably quickly here. And I remember though that these guys can like murder you, so you have to be quite careful. They, they do they do a lot of damage. Good. I don't know what all the different segments like are for, so again, forgive me. <laughs> I just fell off the map. Nice. Um, what the hell was that? Excuse me. Right, so what's in here then? Activate pillar? I guess so. I honestly don't. <laughs> it's been so long since I've been to this area. I don't really know what I'm doing, but we're figuring out together, I suppose. Do I need to activate all three of these? Or is there, is there only two? There might be only, only two. Oh, that was the thing that shot me before, I think. So you get out of here, you. Hey, I sniped him out the sky. Nice. Seems to be taking a reasonably long time to charge you. I think that's the island that has all the extra loot on it. Like the trading, like you can trade for legendaries and stuff. I don't think there's anything we desperately need, though. Okay, so that one's charged. Good. And similarly, we'll do the same thing for this one. I'm guessing there's a few of these around everywhere that I need to be completing, to be honest. Okay, so our drone and squid turrets are actually taking all of the flak from us right now, which is really nice. 
Because I, I, I like like I said, if I remember correctly, these guys can like outright one shot you. They're very dangerous. Look at that drone man. It's Colonel Drone man. Be careful, fire these guys drop down. Pretty deadly. I fought these little drone dudes in um simulacrum before, if I remember correctly. This dude's so cool! Look at him! Got like a little hat on. It's like a little satellite. I like it. Okay, this one's done as well. Alright, so let's just do another preliminary check around this area and make sure we're not missing anything obvious. There's a very, very strong possibility that I am. Doesn't look like it from the get-go though. Just ignore that guy for now, I doesn't need to deal with him. Until he falls off the map. That's so funny that they can just fall off like that. Okay. What are we going on over here then? Brain stalks up here. I think these are more pillars that we need to do. Yeah, so brain stalks here for five. I don't think brain stalks is all that good because we're not going to be killing many elites. We have another one of these, um, which I kind of think could be interesting. Um, I'm, I'm sort of looking at my green items now, and there's none that are, like, super essential to our build right now. But hello. Right, so we got metronome there. I don't care about that. We got more exploding, exploding powder. I don't think I want to trade, honestly. I think I'm good. Get rid of this guy before we start this. Okay. Is this thing pushing me away? That's kind of interesting. I like that. What's, what's attacking me right now? Can you, like, stop? <laughs> oh, as if I missed that. Whoa! Blast me straight up. Okay, like I said, as long as we're careful of the fire, we should be fine. Got that one. One more just round here, wasn't there? There was another one round here, wasn't there? Maybe not. I swear I saw another beam coming out the uh, the top of this. Maybe I'm wrong. There's another one of them over there, look. Make our way over that way. Okay, so the enemies haven't been too bad. This is one of the problems I had with this area when it first came out, and it's seemingly not particularly fixed. It's very desolate. Like, there's a few enemies here and there. I, I definitely get that it's meant to feel desolate, but, like, it's, it's quite a lot of wide open space with not much to do. It'd be nice to just have a few more enemies here and there. Rather than just, like, one spawning every ten minutes. Is this a pillar? No. Lunapod there. Oh, wait, it's just down here, look. Ah, oh, it's on its own little island, I see. Oh. And the, oh, I think that's Mythric Sword right there as well, look. That's cool. Oh, wait, is this a... Oh, wait, I think this is just the jump pad to get up there. I think that's, that's what I was activating. I see, I see. Okay, nice one. Oh. Let's go, son. I will die to this guy, by the way. I am not ready. Like, I have good... I have, like, good damage, but not, like, good damage. Also, my movement skills and movement speed in all that pretty. I don't know what this means, so I'm just going to jump into the air and hope for the best. Okay, this... 
does a lot. Oh my lord. Do you want to calm down, sir? I kind of prefer this mode for the long range. I suppose we can stay in it. Okay, it's relatively easy to get out of the way of that attack with this guy. Yeah, we can actually pretty easily stay in this mode. Which I think for this current stage is way more beneficial to us. Three, two, one. Oh wait, no, it's just next stage. Okay. This shouldn't be all that bad. Like I said, these guys can do some really gnarly damage. But at the same time, we just absolutely wrecked them at the minute. I don't really know how close I can afford to get to him. Probably not too close. One, two, three. Okay, that was poorly timed because I was in the wrong form. But you kind of got the sentiment. I'm not sure what that pillar there is. Oh, God damn. This fight is way more intense than I remember it being. Landed right into his hammer smack down there. Okay, third phase. Is this the one where he steals our items? I can never remember. Stop entering this mode, you prick. This mode's so bad for this fight. Okay, this is the one where he steals our stuff. I don't know how fucked we are here. I feel like it's pretty. Oh god, yeah, we're, we're dead. You see how much damage he just did to me? What? My, my, my drone. Colonel Droneman just annihilated me. <laughs> Anyways, that was a fun run nonetheless. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. That was a spicy look into the Void Fiend. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.